hi guys you're welcome to my channel my name is rich carlos and if today is your first time kindly subscribe to my channel click the notification bell and make sure you get all my notifications whenever i make a post and for my returning subscribers i just want to say thank you i love you guys so much for always watching my video so today i'll just dive right into what i have for you today today is 24th of may 2023 and i am 20 sorry i am 37 weeks two days pregnant so and um, the baby can come anytime from today sorry guys if you're hearing any noise at the background is my son i've tried to put him to bed to sleep he doesn't want to sleep and i just have to make this video because this is the only time i have i don't know when i'll have such time to do it so in case if you hear any noise i'm just apologizing in advance because my son might be disturbing he can barge into the room at any time so back to the video so and um i want to pack my hospital bag so i want you guys to pack it with me i will be showing you the things i wanted to make a video when i went to shop for the hospital list but it wasn't possible because the it was so it was a rough day for me guys and i was i was just very tired i couldn't film it so i will just be showing you guys the hospital list i'll put a picture of the hospital li list by the corner of this video and i'll be packing according to the list so and now if it's possible if i remember i will be saying the amount or the prices at which i got each item for you understand so that we just know how much we spent on packing my hospital bag so i'll pack strictly based on the list i won't add anything extra and have it in the have it in your mind that i'm envisaging that i'm not going to spend more than a day in the hospital you understand and uh, if it's vagina delivery of course i'm not going to spend more than a day so i won't i won't try i won't pack plenty of things i'll just pack according to the list so but there are some there are one or two things that i wasn't able to get which i must still get them before i give birth so let's just let's just start and the first side is mother they will give you based on what the mother needs to get and the other side will be what the baby needs you understand so the first thing on the list is a um, bottle of antiseptic lotion i got a smaller one because i already have a big one in the house so this is just for the hospital in case you understand but i have a big one so i got a small one i think this is 800 naira i think I, I remember yeah so i got a small one for hospital this is number one thing on the list so the next on the list is nightgown and they said two so actually i got one why my, my reason for getting one is that um the hospital definitely will give me a nightgown because based on the last time i put to bed that was 2020 i brought two nights wear to the hospital i finished um when I was done in the labor room, all of a sudden they took off my clothes and wore me the hospital nightgown. Not as if I don't have. So I think it's their rule. They have a particular uniform, a nightwear that after you put to bed, they will wear you that nightwear and transfer you to um, postnatal ward. So that was why I just got one. No need. No need of getting two nightwear. And this um, nightwear, I got it for 2500 It's actually um, up and down, kind of. So, I got only one for them. So, when they give me that extra one, because whether they give you or whether you bring two or not, you will still pay for that one that they are going to give you. So, what's the point of buying two and they will still give me extra one? That's three. So, I got only one. Then, the next thing on the list is maternity brazier. For maternity brazier, sorry, my bed is so messed up because I'm trying to pack the things. I had one already and I got, and they said true, I had one already. So, and I got another one extra. To be honest, that one is very expensive. The one I got is so expensive. If I remember, the price is, um, where is the bra? Um, wait, let me get it. Okay. See, see, see it here see the one i got you can pull from under i'm just showing you i don't want to show you the bra itself let me just show you the pack you can pull from under and breastfeed like this there's, there's a cut in between 
So in case you in case you're breastfeeding, you can put under it and just breastfeed your baby. So I got this particular one, five thousand naira. To be honest, I got it five thousand naira. So I already have one of it, so I didn't bother buying two. I just got one extra. So, meanwhile, um, this um, meanwhile some of the things I used when my when I was giving birth to my first baby, most of them are still there. So I didn't. It helped me a lot. I didn't buy all the things they said I should buy. Some of them that I already have, I didn't buy them. So that is why my budget was very small, kind of. I didn't need so much money to buy things for my baby. You understand? Plus the fact that I already have an older baby. The the new baby can wear what the older one use when he was a baby i don't know if you understand me because i can't go and start buying new set of clothes all from the, as in from the beginning there are some old clothes that he had already worn when he was one um a month plus to six months one year those ones i packaged them i already rewashed them and kept them safe for this one so i mean it's cheaper that way than you going overboard to buy new things except if you're having your first baby of course you have to get everything that you need yeah so the bra like i stopped at the bra so i had one that i used for my baby my first one and i just got an extra one which is five thousand now the next on the list is large towel okay i've got a large towel here this is my large towel Wait, let me fold it because it's big so this is my large towel so i didn't buy it because we have like a bag of towel in the house both used and new ones so i didn't buy towel of course of course so i just carried one of the new ones yeah which is this for the mother meanwhile we are doing the mother list now so my large towel is inside the bag already the next one is toilet soap i don't know if they will chase me back but I just brought the soap I use. So I just I'm putting this one. This is what I use. So I know they will not chase me back. You know they said toilet soap. If it's so important that I need to get a toilet soap, if they stress on it, of course we'll buy around the hospital. But then, like I said, I just plan spending a day at the hospital. I don't even want my wish is that I don't want to sleep in the hospital. Let me just maybe go very early in the morning, put to bed, come back in the evening, which is very much possible my first baby i didn't even yeah my first baby i gave birth on saturday afternoon and sunday morning we got back home so most of the things majority of the things that i carried to the hospital were not touched like majority let me say 80 percent of the things i took to the hospital were not just touched so um the next one is a pair of flat slippers i won't put that one now the slippers I would rather have them on as I'm going to the hospital. You understand? Because of course I need to be using the bedroom to pee, to do anything. So I'm not putting slippers. And of course, if you have a good um, bedroom slippers in the house, you can just carry one. I have fancy ones that I can go with. So I didn't buy. So that one, just keeping it. Okay, here they said Alexia coconut oil. Mm, what is it? So the last time I gave birth, I bought a big one. At the end of the day, I didn't really use it. So today, this one, I just got a small one. I don't know if you guys can see this. Alexia coconut oil. So I got a small one for them. How much did I buy this? Oh my God, I don't want to miss food. Um, oh. If I remember, this should be, this should be that 800. I can't remember. I don't want to. I don't want to lie, but I'm not. It's not more than one thousand naira. I got this one. The next one is sponge for the mother. I'm taking this one. I have a sponge in the house, but I'll just take this one for taking purposes. Cause, like I said, in my um, when I gave birth to my first baby, I didn't. I didn't even bathe at the hospital. I gave birth like I told you. I didn't have my shower. I just gave it on Saturday, Sunday morning. The discharge i didn't breathe in the hospital my baby did not even have a bath it was when we got back home that we all showered in here so and like i said i'm planning not to spend more than a day in the hospital so i'm just going with this hand glue sponge mm, what else roll of cotton wool original now 
This is the rule of cotton wool that they are talking about. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's showing upside down. Should I turn it? Oh god. <laughs> but something like this, I, I believe you guys know. So this one, I got it when I gave it to my first child. When I gave it to my son. You understand? That was when I bought it. And yeah, they used, but they didn't use much. Like I told you, I didn't spend more than a day in the hospital. So they didn't use much. So I you don't expect me to go and buy another one. And I've checked the expiring date. It's still valid till 2025. So I didn't buy. <laughs> 2020, I put to bed. I kept it till 2023. As if I knew. So I don't know the price now at the market. To be honest, I didn't ask them because I know I have. So I'll just go with this one. And I know they will not still finish this one, Seth. Waiting the one. <laughs> they won't finish this one. So, but this is what they are asking for. When I took it. Now the next one is a pack of Nightingale towel. Okay. A pack of this is it. A pack of nightingale towel. Hmm? Can you see this? guys you guys won't believe what just happened like you know i told you that my son was disturbing as i'm filming at some point i couldn't just take it because i was filming around that kind 3 4 p.m the disturbance was just too much so i just had to stop and wait for him to go to bed you can't believe it that this is <laughs> 9 p.m i had to wait for him to go to bed for me to continue so in case the quality of the video changes i don't know it might affect it because i'm filming in the night at the moment 9 pm so but i just want to get done with this and know that i'm done with packing up my stuff so where i stopped was a pack of nights again i think i hope i got the pronunciation a pack of 19 girl towel so i was showing you guys this is it I think there are five inside of it so this is the pack of it which i got um to be honest i can't remember the price i got it because i shopped everything once and made the payments once so i can't remember how much i got this but i know it shouldn't be more than three thousand i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know I don't, it might not even be up to that seriously so that is it so this goes into the bag the next thing on the list is plates and cups that one is just for like i said in my in my first delivery there was really no need of all these things but since it's on the list i'll just go with them so seriously but you don't expect me to go with um breakables so i just went with my baby my son's plates i'm taking one of his plates and um a cup one of his cup and spoon i'm just going to do rubber because anything can happen what if it breaks or something like that i know that okay it's not an expensive stuff so this one at least you have it in your house you don't need to buy this one so i didn't buy it i have it in my house already so the next on the list is um set of cutleries i already put spoon so no need for the for the rest the next on the list is toothbrush and toothpaste okay i didn't put toothpaste when i'm going i'll carry one from the house so this is my toothbrush this is a spare toothbrush i have i haven't used it so it's good it's going into the bag the next on the list is the water flask okay um i got this water flask because the one i used for my son was very it's already bad like spot it's not even working again so i got this eurosonic water flask um 1000 ml so let me open it so that you guys can see it 1000 ml and um, um so this, this is how it looks like this is how it looks like i hope it's i hope it's okay like i hope it retains anything hot or anything cold that has been put inside of it so i got it for 7000 naira yeah i think I got it for 7,000 naira. So, my water flask, which I know I might not still need there, but since it's on the list, I will just carry it there. Because the one I carried when I had my my first son, 2020, the one I carried there, 
I didn't use it. Like I said, I didn't stay up more than a day. So I didn't have need of hot water or anything. Anything I needed was just, okay, get me water and I use it immediately. But I just took them there, which I know. Even when, 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 when I was in labor and they were trying to admit me, what they just demanded from me was this night to get all um, the baby clothes, mm, baby, just baby clothes, baby socks, cap, and everything. Then the excuse me, the hand glove, the surgical no, so, sorry, not surgical glove. That hand glove, I think I've mentioned this here. I'll be okay. I've not that elbow glove. Those major, major things. That was even the things they required from me. Other things they now told my husband to carry the bag and keep with him wherever he is so if i need anything i'll call him to just bring it in for me in the world so most most times they don't need all these things but they just want you to have them handy in case of anything so that you won't be stranded maybe if it's in the midnight you won't be stranded going to look for where to buy all those things or so that's it so that's it for the flask i mentioned i got it for seven thousand naira. okay Next on the list is a um, pack of glucose. Okay, there's it. Pack of glucose. I got this. I know they cheated me because I got it in my area, not in the market. I got it 1,500. I know maybe outside they might be selling it 1,000, maybe supermarket 1,000 or there above. But I got it 1,500. And the one I bought when I gave birth to my son. Can you imagine? I didn't use it. Like I didn't even open it at all. It was this year that I now saw it. I bought it out. It was expired, so there was no way I could even use it. I don't know. I didn't use it at all, to be honest. But I got this one, and I pray. Uh, not I pray. I'll use it. I won't waste it when I'm back from the hospital. Though I'll use it. Mm, bottle of Jik or Hypo. Mm, to be honest, I didn't get that one. I was hoping I would buy it later. Oh, yeah that's just it and even if i'm buying i'll just get i i have the one i use in the house which is a big container i can't carry to the hospital so anything i'm taking to the hospital shouldn't be that big so i was planning to get a very smaller one that i will take to the hospital probably i'll get it yeah i will the next one is pairs of elbow length gloves so I think this is for catching the baby when the baby is coming out. This is it. Elbow glues, the one that gets to this point. That's it. They say two. So I got two. Mm, pack of latest glue. I don't have latest glue, but I have I have this. I have this. So I will go with this. Meanwhile, this was the one I used. <laughs> God, I, as we work out, I'm so ashamed. I'm not ashamed of myself. Like, I can't believe I basically kept everything I used three years ago when I put to bed. And most of them, funny enough, they didn't use, they didn't even take up to half of it. I, they didn't use up to half of it. So, there was no point for me to throw them away. I think, okay, this one, I got it for, I got this one for, I think, 1000 per one. So that's 2009. So this one was three years ago. Let me check the let me check the expiring date. I'm not sure it has because I checked expiry date of everything to be sure. The ones I'm buying and the ones I'm not buying again. It hasn't expired. So but I'm going to give the, give them this one. I even have another one. Like that cotton wool. I have another size. I'll still take it along with me in case they don't need that big one. They want this small one. Then this one I will give it to them okay that's it for the mother's side so now to the baby's side now i'm done all the things i listed all the things i showed you guys is for the mother so now for the baby they said vest that's true what's this vest what's, what's the name of this vest oh, i don't know but see what i put together sorry let me let me show you they just wrote vest. Um, sorry, I forgot to mention something. 
in the mother's side i forgot i skipped one particular one they said four packs of sanitary pads i really for i actually forgot i skipped that one four packs of sanitary pads so i got four i got five actually so i'm taking four with me since i got five so i'm taking four with me since they wrote four and i now bought ordinary pad because you know af after childbirth you you bleed for a long time kind of not really bleed though but at least you be constantly discharging blood or other things for a very long time for me i think i discharged for when i had my son for up to two to three weeks i can't remember so i know that it's very very important so i got this pad five and i got normal pad that i can use when the blood reduces so that was what i skipped there and so for the baby side i said verse two so this is what i put together yeah, we're here. Are you? so i don't know what that what they mean by verse is this so something like this So, this is true for the baby. Though I have like three or four here, I can't remember. Then they said bath towel for the baby. That's baby towel. And they said two. What are they doing with two baby towel? When I'm going to spend just a day. Okay. So, I, I'm taking this. The baby has main towel, but I'm not taking the main towel to the hospital. So, I'm just going with this and with this. When we get back home, the baby can use his or her main towel. But this is just this is brand new, actually. I didn't buy them. Yeah, I already had them in the house. The vest as well. I already have them. It was part of the one I got for my son before I put to bed. Then, but I didn't use all, so I just kept some back. That is it. Face towel. Okay, they said two, two face towel. Mm. This is first one, this is second one. So, two face towel. Um, white cotton material or sure. Okay, I'm using flannel. I got a pack of flannel 2020 when I had my son, and a pack of flannel then had five pieces inside of it. So throughout my when my child was still small i used three so two are still brand new even the three that i use i didn't really use it so much they are still looking very much good look at one of it the one the old one but this one is brand new so this is what the baby this is the first one the baby will use because it's brand new then i just added this because they say if she brings two so that's two baby clothes I'm, I'm skipping this baby clothes because mainly what they usually ask us to give the, bring a sleeping suit this one they call overall they say we should bring four so i got this four of it so i'm i'm using it to replace the baby um clothes because how long are we staying there Baby's not going to wear clothes like this is basically what they wear newborn so i'm taking four of these yeah four four of these okay yeah they are four because they requested for four um okay glow Close the dye gel. I hope I get I got the pronunciation. Let me look. I got it. I don't know. This is it. I don't know the guy. Can you guys see it? This is it. How much did I buy it? I can't remember. Seriously. I can't remember. Then eye ointment. I didn't buy that one. That eye ointment. They said it's I will get it in the pharmacy. So maybe later I'll buy that one, but I didn't get it. The next one, baby soap, baby sponge, and baby comb. So, 
This is the baby sponge. I don't know. If you guys want to see, let me see. So this is the baby sponge. Mm -hmm. Now baby, baby soap, sponge and comb. So this is baby soap, Johnson. This is the cream. But I'm planning on getting tablets, um, the soap tablets to take to the hospital instead of taking the liquid one. So that is what I want to do. Hopefully I'll get it done. Then baby comb. I got a pack of comb when I gave it to my son. And they had two two pairs each. Like this one had two inside. This had two inside. This had two. So I just used one set for him. So this is the remaining set. So I didn't buy comb. That is it. And I'm adding this for them, spirit, because I know they usually use me as local spirit. What else is there? A pack of diaper. I already put some in the bag. I can't, what I put, I put eight pieces. I opened the diaper pack I bought. I got hoggies. A pack of it. I got it for, I got it for six, five. So I just carried like eight, which I know we will not finish it at the hospital. Then Alexia coconut oil. I already showed you guys the coconut oil. I got one. I don't know why they wrote for mother and also for the for baby side. So I got one for both. I didn't buy extra. Baby socks and cap. Baby socks and cap. Where is it? Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I have the socks. I only carry cap. I didn't carry socks. Reason being that. This is one of the cards. Reason being that the the clothes I carried, the overall covers the leg, so there is no need for socks. So what I, the only thing I carried again is mitten. So I only took two cap and two mitten. That is it. So guys, that is all in the list. I'll snap the list. And put it on on the side of the screen. So that is it. That is all that is in my hospital list, and um, I'm going to arrange them very well. Cause anytime, any anytime from today, the baby can decide to show up. So that when 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 I start having signs of labor, I won't start being like, I won't start running around. I'll be like, ah, I've not packed my things with this and that. So I just want to be ready. So that when I when I'm ready to go to the hospital. I'll carry my bag and start going and nothing will just um, disturb me. Talking about labor, my first experience, my first experience taught me something and I, I just pray. My prayer is that number one, I'll have safe delivery and number two, I won't go to the hospital as early as I went for my son's own. Because my son, when I went, I went very early and I was 2CM gone and that now made them to induce me. And to be honest with you, having an induction in labor is not easy. Like, ask anybody that has been induced, it is not more and more. So, I would want to stay in the house. I had to download contraction app. I will show you guys later. I will still film the process by God's grace, if the pains allow me. <laughs> I will film the process and um, I will be monitoring it. I want to be in actual labor, like very, very active labor before i start going to the hospital to the point that i don't want to get there and they will still have to induce me so that if i get there they'll be like okay she's almost close maybe like maybe if i get there maybe i can be 7 8 cm gone so in less than one hour i will have my baby and come out you understand so i wouldn't want to go on time because if you go on time and you stay there for long maybe you're not progressing very well or you're not progressing the way they want you to progress they might just say oh okay induce her that, that was what they did to me because I went on a Friday. I was to see him that Friday all through the night. It was now the next morning that I climbed to like 3 cm. It was the, the whole the, the progression was very actually slow. It was very slow. So when I now got to 5 cm, it was like around um 11 o'clock on that Saturday. So the doctor was like, ah, 
why waste her time just induce her so that she can have her baby in two weeks in sorry in two hours so me i don't ask the doctor is he painful he said no it's just the normal way you're feeling i didn't know it was painful because it was if it was just the normal way i was feeling at 5 cm i was very much okay i was still online i was still browsing to trying to get my mind off the pain you understand so but when they now induced me god it was is that one is another 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 video together so i wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to be induced by God's grace, so I would want to just progress naturally until I get to 10 cm and have my baby. So I wouldn't be going to the hospital on time. That's my plan, and I've agreed with God. So that is how it's going to be. So, guys, thank you so much. I will do a, a vlog, like a vlog, yeah, when my labor starts and the and the delivery and every other thing you need to know so that is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question to ask me regarding pregnancy regarding labor regarding anything though i'm not a medical person but i will just say based on my experience the little one i have from my first child and from this one you know and just know that no two babies are the same that is just it my first pregnancy and this one is totally like totally different they are so different so if you have any question you can leave it on the comment section and um, when i go through them i will just reply to you so thank you so much guys i hope you enjoyed the video tell me is there any other thing extra that your hospital required from you when you were packing your hospital bag just let me know but this is what my hospital said we should get so i did this video based on the hospital list you understand i didn't add anything extra i did not so thank you guys for watching thank you for my returning subscribers Thank you. If you're, a new, if you're a new person, kindly subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.